Explore the intriguing life of J.D. Vance in our latest video. We cover everything you need to know about this influential author and politician, including his age, parents, family background, lifestyle, and net worth. From his early days in rural Ohio to his rise as a best-selling author and political figure, discover the journey of J.D. Vance. Dive into his personal life, career milestones, and the factors that shaped his success. Don't miss out, like, comment, and subscribe for more detailed biographies and fascinating insights. J.D. Vance is a venture capitalist, author, and politician serving as the junior United States Senator from Ohio since 2023. A member of the Republican Party, he came to prominence with his 2016 memoir, Hillbilly Elegy. Born August 2, 1984, age 39 years, Middletown, Ohio, United States. Party, Republican Party. Movies, Hillbilly Elegy. Awards, Audi Award for Nonfiction. Nominations, Audi Award for Nonfiction, Goodreads Choice Awards, Best Memoir and Autobiography. Previous Campaign, 2022 United States Senate Elections. J.D. Vance Net Worth $5 Million. Early Life and Education. James David Vance was born on August 2, 1984, in Middletown, Ohio, between Cincinnati and Dayton, as James Donald Bowman, the son of Donald Bowman and Bev Vance. Of Scots-Irish descent, his mother and father divorced when Vance was a toddler. Shortly afterward, he was adopted by his mother's third husband. Vance and his sister were raised primarily by his grandparents, James and Bonnie Vance, whom they called Mama and Papa. J.D. later went by the name James Hamill, his stepfather's surname, until adopting his grandparents' surname, Vance. Vance attended Middletown High School, a public high school in his hometown. After graduating, he enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps and served in the Iraq War in the Public Affairs Section of the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. Vance later attended Ohio State University, graduating in 2009 with a Bachelor of Arts degree summa cum laude in political science and philosophy. While at Ohio State, he worked for Republican Ohio State Senator Bob Schuler. After graduating from Ohio State, Vance attended Yale Law School, where he was an editor of the Yale Law Journal. During his first year, his professor Amy Chua, author of Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother, persuaded him to write his memoir. Vance graduated from Yale in 2013 with a Juris Doctor. Early Career after working at a corporate law firm, Vance moved to San Francisco to work in the tech industry as a venture capitalist. He served as a principal at Peter Till's firm, Mithril Capital. In 2016, Harper published Vance's book, Hillbilly Elegy, a memoir of a family and culture in crisis. It was on the New York Times bestseller list in 2016 and 2017. It was a finalist for the 2017 Dayton Literary Peace Prize and winner of the 2017 Audi Award for Nonfiction. The New York Times called it one of the six best books to help understand Trump's win. The Washington Post called him the voice of the Rust Belt, while the New Republic criticized him as liberal media's favorite white trash, splainer and the false prophet of blue America. Economist William Easterly, a West Virginia native, criticized the book, writing, Sloppy analysis of collections of people, coastal elites, flyover America, Muslims, immigrants, people without college degrees, you name it, has become routine. And it's killing our politics. In December 2016, Vance indicated that he planned to move to Ohio to start a nonprofit, potentially run for office, and work on combating drug addiction in the Rust Belt. In 2017, Vance joined Revolution LLC, an investment firm founded by AOL co-founder Steve Case, as an investment partner, where he was tasked with expanding the Rise of the Rest initiative, which focuses on growing investments in underserved regions outside the Silicon Valley and New York City tech bubbles. In January 2017, Vance became a CNN contributor. In April 2017, Ron Howard signed on to direct a film version of Hillbilly Elegy, which Netflix released in 2020, starring Owen Astelos and Gabriel Basso as Vance. In 2019, Vance co-founded Naria Capital in Cincinnati with financial backing from Teal, Eric Schmidt, and Mark Andreessen. In 2020, he raised $93 million for the firm. With Teal and former Trump adviser Darren Blanton, Vance has invested in the Canadian online video platform Rumble, popular with the political right. 
Personal Life Vance has been married to a former law school classmate, Usha Chilakuri Vance, since 2014. They have three children. For much of his professional career, Vance and his family lived in San Francisco. Vance was raised in a conservative, evangelical branch of Protestantism, but by September 2016, he was thinking very seriously about converting to Catholicism but was not an active participant in any particular Christian denomination. In August 2019, Vance was baptized and confirmed in the Catholic Church in a ceremony at St. Gertrude Priory in Cincinnati, Ohio. He chose Augustine of Hippo as his confirmation saint. Vance said he converted because he became persuaded over time that Catholicism was true, and described Catholic theology's influence on his political views.